All men have fears, but the brave put down their fears and go forward, sometimes to death, but always to victory. Dale Carnegie said that, and it's a quote which I live by. Reality is, everybody has fears. Fear of loss, fear of failure, fear of rejection. But the only difference between the cowardly and the brave is that the brave set aside their fears. The biggest difference between successful people and unsuccessful people is that successful people have a habit of setting their fears aside in order to complete the mission that lies ahead of them. For some, that mission's making millions of dollars. For others, that mission is just traveling the world with a backpack. Money does not need to be the only common denominator when it comes down to success. Success takes balls. But you see, if it were easy to set your fears aside, everybody would be doing the things that they dream of. Nobody would fear talking to the girl in the red dress. Nobody would fear failure, and nobody would be afraid to venture outside of their comfort zone. Obviously, that just isn't reality. Me? I chose the path less traveled. I grew up in a small town in New Jersey in a lower class family, but I'm not here to bore you with a sob story. At just 14 years old, I decided that I wanted a different life for myself and decided to take my first try at e-commerce. My story from 14 to 21 years old is a story full of sacrifice and pain, wins and losses. Remember the quote from earlier? At just 18 years old, I decided that I needed to leave New Jersey. And with a crumbling business, crippling credit card debt, and only a few thousand dollars to my name, I did what any logical person would do and booked a one-way flight across the United States and moved to Salt Lake City with my business partner. As they say, we had a dollar and a dream. My business partner and I had a life-changing conversation at a Chick-fil-A of all places. 40K in the Amex due, barely any money in the bank, our conversation went something like this. Do we get one or two spicy chicken sandwiches each? Naturally, we got two each and a large fry, and we said, let's just charge it to the game. Fast forward six months from that conversation and our lives were changed for good. I'll paint the picture for you. I'm 18 years old, living in the nicest apartment in Salt Lake City, driving around one of the only Audi R8s in the entire state of Utah. Life was good, and certainly I thought nothing could go wrong from there. But I couldn't have been more wrong. In just six months time, I went from having over $40,000 in credit card debt to having over a million dollars in my bank account. I felt on top of the world and I was certain that nothing could stop me. Until something did stop me. I lost it all. One bad decision after another. One failed business after another. Nothing was clicking for me until eventually everything that I had was gone. Surely, if anyone could bounce back from this, it was going to be me. And this is something that I told myself every day for six months. I moved to Florida, defeated from everything that had gone wrong. No plan, nobody to save me, but did I quit? Absolutely fucking not. Around eight months ago, I started another e-commerce brand. In fact, it's the very same brand that I documented on my YouTube channel, taking from zero to a million dollars in revenue right in front of your faces. How's that brand doing today? Well, it's 4 p.m. and we're at $43,000 in revenue for the day. See, no matter how hard things have gotten for me, I've always taken it on the chin and pushed forward. I've never let my fear of failing get in the way of completing my mission. And the brand, well, that was far from easy. In fact, in the first few months, we were break even to the point where we could barely afford to keep our lights on. Hurdle after hurdle, we just keep on jumping. The point? Things get hard. I'm doing the numbers that I'm doing with the brand today because I was not afraid to face the music. I was not afraid to try and fail and I wasn't afraid, period. If you're a person with a woe is me mentality, you're not going to make it. You need to adjust your belief center and rewire your brain. You need to begin to listen to that voice inside your head telling you to take that leap and take that risk. I'll leave you with this. No matter how hard things get, there is always a light at the end of the tunnel. The moment you realize this is the moment that you give yourself the opportunity to become successful.